All right, welcome back. I'm at location, very special project today. It's not my hangar. Well, God almighty, would you look at that. <laughs> you recognize that truck? Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, hi, Mark. Hey, how you doing? He's trying to clean up the frame here, Blake. Okay. Uh, check out this bolt. It's Torque is taken. Break it loose. And look what, look what it holds. Absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And I got one on the other side, too. Uh, All right. Well, that's right. I'm over at Twin Sticks Garage. I'm going to put you guys down. Get ready. Let's get to work. That's why we're a good team, because I'm good at the hands-on applicatory stuff, and he explains things in a clear kind of way. And... All right, so me and Mark got this laid out. Picked an angle here, but that angle came from here. With these six holes on this bracket, one, two, three, four, five, six, that is where it holds all this uh, leaf spring on. So with these six holes, what I did was I just measured up an inch, or on this side, measured up an inch, and off this one I measured down an inch. Just connected the lines, so that way each hole is kind of equally supported. So this piece will still be supported on these holes, and then we're gonna have to redraw these holes on this part of the frame. I'm going to take some of this leftover scrap aluminum and we're actually going to use it on a fish plate on the inside. All right, so I got the top bottoms cut on both sides. I sling this up, come along. So basically it's more than enough supported that it's not going to fall and pinch my blades and do a whole bunch of crazy things. Finish this cut, see how it goes. Cut that side, throw them together. Try out the old aluminum welder for the very first time. This is the first time you can try welding with that? My very first time using a spool gun on that welder. Oh, awesome. It's yeah. going to work, right? Oh, yeah. All right. I watched at least two YouTube videos on it. <laughs> well, then we're set. Yeah. You can learn anything on YouTube. Exactly. We're teaching people how to extend a cab over right now. Yeah, that's right. If you've got an old, if an old tenor sitting in your FAC 40 with an uh, aluminum frame, <laughs> this is how you can, uh, you can make it longer. <laughs> or mess it up, one of the two. Persuasion. Well, with a lot of my back and a little of my brain, we have them two cut. It looks like it's off, but uh, we actually had to chain fall oh, yeah. this up uh, to frame up just so I can get the tools in. And the clearances are so tight, I couldn't cut it all with a steel saw, so I didn't even bother, bother filming this side because it was a lot of repeat of this side. So now me and Mark, we're just going to uh, make the two together, see how close they look, back it up again, then I'm gonna and clean and bevel this. Oh yeah, that looks holy jeez. Just trying to get a view of the of what 293 looks like. We missed our 300 uh, inch wheelbase by seven inches, but uh, we're splitting hairs. But um, our buddy Dallas, uh, he's the one who donated this frame to Mark, 
and he was trying to scavenge every bit, every inch he could for his cab over. Or his, uh, his conventional. His conventional? It's a single axle, but he wanted as much frame coming out of it as he could. Okay. So that's why he cut it right at the brackets. So you heard it here. Dallas screwed us over. <laughs> He's that single drive. Great guy. Okay, so like Mark was just saying on his camera, everything's nice and beveled, cleaned up. And we're just ready to give this a push. It's pretty close to being exactly lined up. So we're gonna set up some cameras. here have it lined up both sides pretty straight it's not perfect yet but we can adjust all that with welding uh, ran into a little bit of a snag with the uh, electrical well that's what happens when you rush little things get overlooked main thing is we uh, covered a lot of ground tonight eh mark Ground. Yeah. I was amazed how far we got. Yeah. I mean, all stuff is a little bit of welding. Yeah. Welder out, blend it out, bolt stuff up, and then Mark's going to learn how to weld aluminum. Oh, I can't wait. With a lot of these holes, blend them all out because this thing is going to be smooth. Wow. And I hope this. I hope this. I hope this does justice. If you have a look. That's a lot of frame. That's a lot of padding there just to cover the frame on this thing. This is long. Yeah. All right, so we're back again another day. Today's task, weld these up. Obviously, first we're gonna straighten out the rails. We're gonna use string line for it. I like using string line, super cheap, and, uh, and it's super reliable, and it's actually a lot more accurate than people give it credit for. So we're gonna get some things set up. We're gonna get a string set up. We're gonna clamp, make sure this is all nice and straight, and then we're gonna start welding. You ready, Mark? I was born ready. I'm always ready. <laughs> <laughs> corrosion threw us for a loop with our string line looking like there's a bow in the frame but this is as straight as we're gonna get it so I'm gonna set you guys up in a little bit of a different angle get to get the welder set up and we're gonna practice on a couple holes here make sure it's how I like it before I start putting in some real heavy tacks on here get this side all tacked up real heavy like and then uh, pull some clamps off and see how it relaxes
so we were struggling with a bit of a bow in this one. So this way we have such an elaborate clamp uh, system going on here. We got my biggest, strongest clamp down there with some I-beam. Got another clamp keeping it level or nice and uh, flush along the top. And then I got the bar clamps hold it with the uh, piece of four inch shell there holding the frame rail straight. So I'm gonna get some preheat going, get some weld going, do the top and bottoms of both of these. We're gonna release the clamps, see how it looks, and then I'll start welding out everything. That was a nice catch, I even got it on camera. <laughs> All right, so it should, should stay where it's at now? It should stay where it's at. All right, so we're just taking the clamps off now. It's all tacked in there. And hopefully it stays where it's at. Man, that's looking good, Blake. What's that? Did it deflect back at all? No. So, here's this side. Weld seam is down around there, but I welded it, blended it out. So we're gonna get set up over here. And so you can see we're about finger width away from that hole. And uh, see if I can't make this one disappear just like I did the last one. So I'm gonna start with spree heat, get the camera set up, get some welding going and uh, yeah, bring you guys back in a little bit.
But here we are at the after view. Everything's blended out real nice. Marks is checking hockey updates because you're Canadian and uh, <laughs> we're legally obligated to do that every 45 minutes. We have to check some sort of update in hockey. You that's know? right, that's right. Now that's where our friendship will cross. He's an Oilers fan and I'm a Canucks fan, but uh, oh, we'll, no, uh, nice. hey, okay. <laughs> the season's rough, okay? Just take it easy on me, okay? It's bad enough, okay? Potential's there, we're just not living up. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this, this is living up to the hype. Look at that. Smooth like it, yeah, Elias Patterson. <laughs> <laughs> so, she's all welded out, inside and out. I didn't blend out the inside because it's all going to be covered up. And there's going to be fish plates going on there, so I just kind of smoothed out the welds. Sitting under its own weight. We're going to try to clean up this deck a little bit. Get a nice final view of it. I'm going to set you guys down. <laughs> That's all right. Holy jeez. I'm winded walking this distance of the rails here. <laughs> wow. So, Mark, what do you think? Mint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fantastic, Blake. I couldn't be happier. This is, man, this is gonna look awesome. Once all these holes are filled in, cleaned out, nothing but gloss, nothing yeah. but, uh, nothing but smooth, nothing but smooth. In the way, shiny fuel tanks and stainless steel exhaust. Yeah, custom stainless steel exhaust. Custom stainless steel exhaust. Oh, that's cool. All right, I'm gonna end it here and, uh, I just wanted to thank Mark for having me out. You're always welcome, Blake. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be a key part of this build. I can, oh. I can feel it already. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to uh, get out of some backlit there. Uh, I'm really looking forward to uh, moving forward on this project and other projects that me and Mark have planned. We just uh, sat there and dreamt aloud of a whole bunch of ideas that we think we could do with the, all these trucks. Let us know what you guys think. Uh, drop a comment, hit a like, and if you're here, you're most likely here because he sent you here. And I uh, appreciate you watching, and uh, go ahead and click subscribe on mine, like, notifications, all that stuff. I'm trying to grow my channel, and every little bit help, helps, and uh, I appreciate everyone that does follow. So, thanks a lot.